So, y'all awake yet? If not, maybe this will wake you up. Everything's starting to add up. Talking about getting rid of the police? Smells like a new world order is in the works. And some people don't care and want to just destroy America. Here's the truth of what's happening in the world. Create a virus to scare people. Place them in quarantine. Count the number of dead every second of every day in every news headline. Close all businesses. 40 million out of a job. Peak unemployment. Remove entertainment such as parks, gyms, bars, restaurants, sports. No dating, no touching. Mask people. Dehumanize them. Close temples and churches. Create a vacuum. Let depression and anxiety and desperation set in. Then ignite hatred and civil war, civil unrest. Empty the prisons because of the virus and fill the streets with criminals. Send in Antifa to vandalize property as if they are freedom fighters. Undermine the law. Loot. Attack law enforcement, but tell government to order a stand down. We are all being baited by adversarial governments who want to destroy America, such as China, Iran, and Russia. And, in election year, have Democrats blame all of it on the president. If you can't take America in war, destroy it from within. We are being conditioned, manipulated, and programmed by multiple agendas as never before. Time to do our own research and make up our own minds, rather than eating everything being spoon-fed to us. Social media is going to kill us. I'm shocked that some of our world leaders are profiting from this and encouraging it. Now, that was not exactly word for word the thing that was shared on Facebook that I told you about in my other video. And I have more to add. Yesterday I was thinking and a song popped into my head. It's a classic country song by Aaron Tippin called You've Got to Stand for Something. Now the most important lines of the song are in the chorus, you've got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. You've got to be your own man, not a puppet on a string. Don't fall for the lies that the media is feeding you. Don't let our government or anyone take away your freedom of speech, beliefs, or way of life. We can look to some of the smallest creatures on our planet and see that they can do numbers to defend their homes and their way of life. Ants, termites, bees, etc. But are there enough of us who believe in the value of what this country was founded on to defend and keep America free and equal in all rights no matter, the, no matter our gender, ethnicity, beliefs, or backgrounds? Our life choices reflect who we are. If people choose to be destructive, violent, and abusive towards others, then we need our police to stop that and get it under control. Every choice made for the purpose of hurting someone in some way should have consequences no matter what. I'm not saying there's not corrupt police officers because it's clear that there most certainly are and they need to be removed from their positions. But that's no reason to target all of them, especially a cartoon puppy whose sole purpose is to find the best way possible to help others in need in his hometown. I stand with Chase. I know not everyone here will agree with me, but God needs to be allowed back to the places he was removed from, but never forced on anyone. With that, no beliefs or way of life of any kind should ever be forced, implied or joked about being forced, because that only leads to chaos and destruction. And no one should ever be judged, mocked, or abused for their beliefs or who they are as a human being.